Hello, my name is April Kempler with Kempler Design. I'm sitting here with Paul Kempler of Kempler Design, and we are here to talk to you today about this that came out from the government. It's a residential energy tax credit changes in 2023 and how you can benefit and how Hunter Douglas is offering a refund or a rebate. So Paul's gonna answer some questions about how, what products qualify, how you can get this for your own home. Take it away. I thought you said I'm answering questions. Yes, how does this work? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, okay, so how does this work? The energy tax credits are nothing new. Uh, the government has been doing that for a long time. They've made some adjustments. So uh, they had a previous amount, smaller amount, and currently it's a larger amount. So the amount that is possible for someone to get as a tax credit is $1,200. And that is 30% for 2023. It changes over time. We won't get into too much detail on that. But it's 30% of the amount spent. Uh, but that would include all the things that you do that would qualify for the tax credit. So you kind of want to jump on this and take advantage of it uh, because you have a limit as to how much you can get. Well, and speaking of, how long does this go, this program go? Uh, I have something from the Congressional Research Service, which is providing information. And here's what they've said on this, that... Major changes for tax year 2023 and beyond, it's 30%, whereas 2022, it was 10%. So that's, that's a okay. big difference. And what was the question that you asked me? Oh, well, uh, how long will this program be offered for, from Hunter Douglas specifically? Well, Hunter Douglas is, man, that goes so many different directions. I believe I, well, I'll answer it. Okay. <laughs> At 10 months, I think they said for the year or 10 years. It was 10 years. Mm -hmm. So that's a good, that's a long time. But it's not because Hunter Douglas is doing it. It's because the products that they have, they've made it so it qualifies for this. So mm -hmm. as long as the government is offering it, mm -hmm. then Hunter Douglas is going to have the product. In time, I'm curious as to whether other companies are going to uh, put their products out there. We'll get into the specifics of it later, but it shows here that it's twenty, it's thirty percent from twenty twenty three through twenty thirty one, and then the credit rate is scheduled to fall from thirty percent to twenty six percent in twenty thirty two, and from twenty six to twenty two percent in twenty thirty four. So they've got this scheduled for a long time. And just like they did last time, it had a limit and they decided, no, let's up it. Well, there's no way to know whether or not it's going to up in the future. But for 30% now for qualified products is a pretty good um, credit. Again, it's not a rebate. It's a credit. A credit, exactly. And so, Paul, how does it work as the customer when you come in and I want products that will get me this credit? Yeah, that's a good question. Um this is because it's a tax credit requires that you follow the guidelines. And when you're doing the, the jobs like with us, we're going to provide you with what you need. You're going to need an invoice. Uh, we're also going to send you a quote information because it shows what things qualify and what things don't. We'll get into that in a moment. Uh, and then you need to present it to who is doing your taxes, either yourself or your accountant or whomever. And they will be able to get you the details on it. Well, sounds good. Sounds easy. Sign me up. <laughs> I'm ready to go. So one of the things we have to provide for the customer is what are the products that qualify mm -hmm. and what doesn't qualify. So uh, can you explain that? Sure. Using a document from Hunter Douglas, it says that all, and this is such a key word, eligible Hunter Douglas duet and applause honeycomb products with PowerView automation qualify for the federal tax credit. So with that in mind, keep, let's process what that means. <laughs> the only products that are capable of doing this are the Hunter Douglas Duet and Applause. So the only ones that have been approved by the government to qualify for this. So, but it says eligible. So certain products aren't going to work. 
So for example, um, on the right side of that page, what are some of the ones that do not qualify? Well, do not qualify. Well, mm -hmm. there will be the duo light. Okay, so the duo light is when you have a, a sheer and a room darkening material together. Even though you would think that works, it, it does not qualify, okay? Vertiglide. The ones that go side to side. Sky lift. That would be the ones that are done for um, skylights and... Do they have a track system in them? There is a track system and so there's curiosity. I know that Hunter Douglas is actually approaching the government to say some of these things qualify, but as of now, no, that one does sure. not. They're, okay. they're appealing and questioning as well. We're mm -hmm. all going... We have many years to figure this out, so we'll see how it goes. Simplicity. Uh, the vintage version of the skylight that can be done either completely flat, angled, or like this. Track glide, a lustre duet and duet only. Mm -hmm. Track glide is done for uh, where you have it attached to the, uh, usually done on doors so that it doesn't shake. And it's we have some attached. videos on that, I think. Yeah, but it's not qualified. Right, so if mm -hmm. anyone wants to know what that is, mm -hmm. we have a video. Next. Light lock. Light lock, I can't believe doesn't qualify again. Hopefully that will, but that's the one where it has channels or on the side where, or pockets where the material goes inside of it. You would think that it was even better at insulating, but according to the government, it is not qualified. Easy view arch. Arches, not gonna work where it moves. Two on one headrail. Yeah, two on one headrail. So you have one headrail going across the top and then there's a split between them, and because of the gap right here in between it, uh, they say no, it does not qualify. Makes sense. End mm -hmm. mount. Uh, that has, okay, end mount products mount from one side to the other, and because uh, there's a bracket that sits here and sits here, it creates a larger gap where the material goes down, and because it's just a little bit bigger of a gap for the size of the screw, it also does not qualify according to them. And outside mount? Uh, same basic idea. It has to fit inside mount. Outside mount will not work because it creates more airflow going around it. All right, and then specialty, which would include side lights, shapes, cutouts, magnetic hold down brackets. Yeah, so specialty shapes are not gonna Just work. Just things that cause gaps, I suppose, but that doesn't really, to me, light lock would, should qualify. I would, that's the big question for me, but I can't argue with the government or Hunter Douglas. I don't even want to try. So that's, yeah. those are the rules. Hunter Douglas is on your side on this one. They think for it should sure. qualify. For sure. But yes, what it is what it is, an old expression. So just when you're ordering a product, you can refer to the product guide. Your, your, your person that is um, quoting you will be able to tell right away if the product does qualify and then you will know, then you will be given all the information you need to get that tax credit. Yeah, and there are some very specific things, and what I'm gonna do is show you some screenshots of what qualifies and what doesn't. So for example, small openings, like 24 by 36, almost do not qualify at all, because they're saying there's not enough much, there's not enough energy that passes through that opening to block it, to give you any credit for it. And then there are other ones that are really big and they say that doesn't qualify. When I look at the charts that you're seeing right here, um, you're going to have to fine tune it. The fabric that you're choosing is gonna have relevance as to whether it qualifies. The mechanism that you're using to operate it is going to have a, a thing, for example, the, the Ultra Glide, which is a retractable cord, or the uh, power view motorization or the light rise, they all have different levels. And so you've got to be very specific when you're doing this. Now, straight up, um, most of my clients, I think what we're going to do is have this conversation. If someone is super, super interested in energy conservation, this is something that we're probably going to pursue. But I think when people are doing the balance saying, wait a second, I can have a product that does different things. They might just completely say, I'm not interested in those products because they don't give me the look that I want or the style that I want, or I'm choosing basically words that mean the same thing, but they may just pass on it all together. So 
I, I'm curious how this is going to go, but it's been around for a while and yet uh, it hasn't been a high priority, especially at 10%. Right, but at thirty percent, it's more in appealing. Yeah. And so, and Paul, you are the expert, and you can help guide with the products. And if none of these products really work for the client, we're not going to force that product into that home. There are other things that can be more energy efficient and help in other ways. Maybe not necessarily for this program, but you, as the expert, can explain that. Yeah, and let me throw just one little thought at you. I, there's some things that you can say on these videos and there's some things that you cannot say. This is one of those things that I cannot say here, but if you would like to talk to me personally about options that would provide you with exactly what you want here, um, man, I, I, it's really difficult for me to cover this one. Just let's set up an appointment. Let's talk because um, I have solutions that will give you this for a, a broader um amount of products that maybe you hadn't even thought of. So was that tactful enough? Yeah, but I think this is a pretty useful program and I think it's a good place to start. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy that they're doing it and uh, it's going to, it's definitely going to provide solutions. I know that um, the, the climate change topics have motivated this and they're trying to get people to use less energy. And so if you're buying into that, then this would be potentially a great solution. And of course, Kempler Design is happy to help you, but I would hope that who, whomever you use to do your window treatments, I hope that they're really on board with how this works because it's going to provide you with the solutions that you need for uh, a price that works. I, I'm, this, I don't even know where to go right now. The function you require and the design you desire. I know I didn't get that right. Let's try it again. The function you require in the style oh. you desire. <laughs> That's our, we used that quote many, many years ago. Anyway, thanks for watching this. Um, we appreciate it. I know it's taken a long time, but if you're looking at purchasing window treatments, uh, please give us a call. Or if you're, um, looking for someone in your area, find someone that knows what they're doing so that you can be really happy and it's a win-win for everybody. Thanks again for watching the Kempler Design blog.